Secrets. Well, welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. I'm your host, Dane Lillian Walker. And today I wanted to do a, to do a follow-up to how to get over a breakup in five steps. This is part two. So I was editing today um, a book that I am writing called The Intuition Manifesto. And in 2019, as many of you know, I went through a breakup with my ex-boyfriend in March of 2019. And that was on March 23rd. And the day that that happened, it was uh, late afternoon when this altercation took place. And I realized, you know, that it was over, over. And in fact, I told him, you know, to get out of my, to get out of my home, to leave. And I remember going through the different energetic processes. You know, of course I cried. I locked myself in my bedroom. I went through and I did, you know, I did the, I would go through the five steps in the first video. If you haven't watched the first video, I highly encourage you to watch that video first and then come back, watch this second video. So this is part two. So it's been about, let's see, it's a year and a half after, right? So here we are, 2020, September of 2020. We're in the middle of the pandemic and all the, everything that's gone on this year. And um, 2019 was my year. I did like a huge 360. And my, to say that I had a personal revolution is an understatement because I, I could have never anticipated that I was going to leapfrog from where I was into a whole other level, a whole other stratosphere, an entire other world opened up for me. Things that I could have never imagined started to happen. So fast forward to now. Um, so it's been about 18 months, it's been about a year and a half now because March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, so it's been exactly 18 months since then. And so today I was, one of the things that I tested in 2019 with like really a lot of precision on a daily basis, every time I woke up, um, even as I went to sleep, I was focused on my intuition and um, testing it. Every time I would get an intuitive hit, I would pay attention to it and then I would act on it to see how often my intu intuition was right on, on the money and the times when I on purpose didn't follow it, what the consequences as opposed to what the benefits were to following it. And I noticed that my intuition is, is, is really strong. It was crazy the things that, that happened, the things that I manifested, I continue to manifest. So fast forward to today, and I've been editing again this book that I wrote. I followed my intuition a Friday night about three or four weeks ago. I wasn't planning on writing this book and around 1130 at night, my intuition told me, write a book on intuition. And I thought, oh, that'd be kind of interesting. And I knew not to resist it because I hear my intuition perfectly clear. So I'm like, okay, well, I know how this rolls and I don't know what I'm even gonna say. I got the hit to write the book on intuition. So I opened up my document and I started to write and I ended up pulling an all-nighter and writing the book in one sitting. It was like a nine hour sitting from 11.30 at night to like eight o'clock, um, 7.45 in the morning. So now fast forward today, I've been, it's taking much longer. I thought it would have been done by now. Um, it took shorter to write the book than it has to edit the book, do the, it took two days to do the book cover. There's a whole story behind that, which I will, you'll read about it and learn about it when you get the book, if you get the book, which if you're watching this video, you're gonna to wanna to get it because there's magic there manifesting according to God's infinite creation. Just by touching the book, there are things that are gonna to happen to you, which I'm very excited for you all. It's a very holy book that came through me. It's not not my left brain. It was it was it was amazing. So so as I'm doing some research today and I'm doing some reading and and um, just reveling in the awesomeness of today because today's been very awesome 
this day of September. So I, this information about vows, promises, oaths come, came across, across my desktop. Also knowledge about medallions and things like that. And I've known about the charge that you can put in to things like crystals, like this is a selenite crystal. Um, I'm aware of, of how energy works 3D and otherwise, and at the quantum level, where you can't really see it with the naked eye, but you need to have a, you know, a microscope or an electron microscope to evidence some of these things, and and even, um, you know, even in EEGs and EKGs and, and things like that. So, as I'm thinking about this, the first image that my intuition brought to mind was this. So. Let me show it to you instead of moving it so quickly. Let me show you. This is the thing. Now, the reason why this popped into my head was, you know, when you say a vow, what, like when you get married, you take a vow, you know, to honor, cherish, and obey till death do you part. Whatever, you know, whether you had traditional vows or you wrote your own vows, there were words that were spoken. There were words that were written and read or and spoken by, you know, a clergy or an official who wedded you and laced you together in the union of marriage right and then you exchanged wedding rings and those wedding rings are charged with the energy of love and a certain intention those vows that you spoke for each other and then you exchange rings and so you wear those rings not only a symbol of your love but it's also evidence of the vow and the oath and the promise that you make to each other right Okay, so the same thing is true when somebody gives you a gift. And so I remembered that this particular item had been given to me by my, by my ex-boyfriend. And even though I didn't have it in my house, it was actually in my garage, it was still in my possession. And it was brought to my awareness that that energy still had a tie and a hold on me that was not to my benefit. And so as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I need to go get it. So I, I need to go get it and I need to disp I need to make sure that I'm not in possession of it anymore. And then I realized also my intuition told me, do a video, document this so that you can share this experience with others because others are gonna be carrying around these unfavorable energies that are not for your highest good and for the highest good of those all around you either. So. Anyhow, that's why I'm doing this video, because this is a great follow-up to the how to get over a breakup in five simple steps. This should be your sixth step. Although I did get rid of t-shirts that he had given me, you know, interestingly enough, shortly after that, um, he had given me a Shungite bracelet and I wasn't, you know, I was just minding my own business and the next thing I knew, that bracelet broke on its own, which I thought was very, very interesting. Uh, in fact, that was the first of the pieces of jewelry that I had. I never, I never lose jewelry. Jewelry doesn't normally break on me or anything like that. So that was weird the way it just went. It's almost like it exploded off of my wrist. And I think it's because it was given to me by him and it no longer served a useful purpose in my life. And so it busted. Interestingly enough, I had five, I think it was like five pieces of jewelry that broke on me and it was all within 24 hours. It was uncanny. And when the first piece of jewelry broke and then another piece of jewelry broke and then another piece of jewelry, I'm like, what the heck? I knew that something was going on. Anyhow, so rather than segueing to that, I'm just letting you know that you need to pay attention to those things. So I am now going to dispose of this. This is no longer going to be in my possession. And then I'm going to do a follow-up video. It'll be a series on how to get over a breakup and five steps and the part two. And there will be a part three, part four, because I will do a video on, I'm going to do a seven day follow-up to show you what things what and I know that my my intuition is going to tell me what I need to share with you and what things are directly tied to the releasing of this object that has an energetic charge to it. 
So, and I'll do a seven day follow up and I'll do a 30 day follow up, 60 day and 90 day follow up. And we'll take it from there. Right now I'm just being led to a seven day, a 30 day, 60 and a 90 day follow up. So thank you for tuning in, tapping and turning on to this episode of Love and Money Secrets TV. And I really appreciate your tuning in, tapping and turning on and joining me here, whether it's live on the broadcast or you're catching it on the replay, it doesn't matter. Make no mistakes. If you are watching this video, I made this video for you. You were asking in 5D quantum, you may be praying, maybe you're meditating, looking for answers. And because you and I are connected, we are all connected. We are all one because we're all brothers and sisters that, you know, inhabit this globe. And so you and I co-created this more, this moment in time. And so this is an answer to something that you've been asking questions about. So you may have other, you'll know what object it is that you need to release. It might be a pendant, it might be a ring, it might be a bracelet, it might be, who knows? In my case, I knew that it was this. So that's it. Thank you for tuning and tapping and turning on. Please like because it would give me the warm fuzzies and warm my heart to know that you actually like this video. So please do click the like button, share this video with a friend, anybody that you might know who is undergoing either in the midst of a breakup or thinking about breaking up or just broke up with someone, whether married, divorced, uh, broke up with a fiance or, an, or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, send them this video. That's what this video is for, is to help people like you and families like yours so that you don't have to suffer in pain longer than what's absolutely necessary. All breakups are painful. My divorce was very, very painful. And the breakup of my boyfriend was painful, but I didn't have to suffer nearly as much when I broke up with my boyfriend because since I had more tools and I had more I was more fine-tuned with my intuition. I knew how to do these five steps and I did them all that evening immediately and um, made all the difference in the world because the next day I could have never anticipated feeling as free as I did uh, the very next day. I was, to say I was totally fine, I was totally fine, I was at peace, I was energized like you could not believe even though I'd only slept less than two hours it really was, it was mind boggling. It really made me wonder and ponder and think. And I kept on meditating and asking and, you know, you know, in my prayers and, and in my meditations asking, it's like, you know, I was wondering if, if another shoe was gonna drop because I felt so good, which showed me that I was so on the right path. And it also prepared me for things that were to come. It was prepaving me and I was really being uplifted. And that is the intention I set for you, that you too would be uplifted. Okay, I want this to be a long video. I want this to be short and sweet to the point. It's part two to how to get over a breakup in five steps. And I will do a follow-up video in the next seven days. So thank you for tuning in, tapping in, turning on. And ciao for now. From my heart to yours. Hit that notification button. Boom, smash it so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Ciao for now. <laughs> I'm still trying to log off. Bye-bye. <laughs> Third time's a charm.